What's going on, y'all? If you're looking for the latest NFL news and rumors, you're in the right place. If you're looking for politics, weather, food, or pop culture, then I need you to go check out the News Break app because today's show is also presented by them. You see this link below, chatsports.com slash newsbreak. Guess what? You can get more chat sports videos, and it doesn't matter if you're in Las Vegas. It doesn't matter if you're in Dallas. It doesn't matter what your zip code is. You can get everything you could possibly need around your city at that link below, chatsports.com slash newsbreak. Go Go ahead and download the app. All right, let's get to the very first story here. We're going to talk about Kellen Mond and could potentially he be a quarterback for the New England Patriots. So Mond is a very fun prospect, a four-year starter at Texas A&M. And he honestly, and I don't like to make this comparison all the time, but he is a quarterback to me that has a lot of hype, and it reminds me a lot of the hype that Colin Kaepernick had coming out. He is a very athletic quarterback, but sometimes that doesn't always translate to you being a successful NFL quarterback. Now, the reason why this is interesting is because Mon, he recently came out and spoke, and he was like, you know, the Patriots, they showed some interest because we met at the Senior Bowl, and they've been in contact, but recently... The conversations have been, well, progressing. And he kind of had this old smile on his face and was like, you know what? I mean, we'll see what happens. But it would not really surprise me if a team like New England, if a coach like Bill Belichick ultimately went out and got a quarterback like Kellen Mond. Now, remember, they did sign Cam Newton to a one-year deal. Is that really looking forward? No. But could Cam Newton come in? Could Cam Newton put a quarterback like Kellen Mond underneath his wing? absolutely flipping lootly. Luckily for New England, they have 10 picks this upcoming draft, and they have a lot of ways where they could go out and do it, and I know that they went out and got Cam. I still think that their biggest need right now is still the quarterback position, and when you really think about how the quarterback's market could go, especially in this year's draft, I mean, think about all the mock drafts we did. We were like, okay, maybe Mac Jones could be there at number 15 for New England. I don't think that happens anymore. You could literally see five quarterbacks go by the time New England is on the clock. So let's just say, oh, Bill Belichick over there says, you know what? Quarterbacks are our biggest need. And for everyone out there that might scoff at the idea of Mon going in the first round, you know who doesn't think it's that crazy? Chris Sims. You know who's actually been pretty darn good at predicting quarterback talent in, in the NFL? Chris Sims. I mean, Chris Sims flat out said that he would rather have Kellen Mon than I believe Justin Fields. I like Justin Fields more. I'm actually not the biggest fan of Kellen Mond. But at the end of the day, there are certain people who have very, very high grades on certain players. And it only takes one person. It only takes one person to fall in love with Kellen Mond. And if Mond's saying that the talks are starting to progress, I don't know if we're going to hear his name in round one. But it wouldn't surprise me if once Goodell goes up there, everyone boos him. And then the Patriots go ahead and pick the guy from Texas A&M. But how about this? Let's just say the Patriots make the move. They go out. They take the quarterback, Kellen Mond. I don't know if it's in the first, second, third round. And I don't know when it's going to be. It could be even round four. Who do you think would be the better quarterback, though? Cam Newton or Mond? If you think it's Cam Newton, I want you to type CN. If you're like, you know what? I'm going to go Kellen Mond, the younger guy, type KM. Listen. Cam Newton was bad last year. There's no other way to shake it. I understand he was playing a lot better than the whole COVID thing happened. The Patriots had no offensive weapons whatsoever. They had a lot of injuries as well. Even though I'm not the biggest Kellen Mond fan, and even though I don't really believe in Cam Newton at this point, I'm still going to go ahead and type my CM. So let's look right now at my top five quarterback prospects. And as I mentioned before, I do not believe that any five of these players right here are going to be available to New England at 15. And when I did my most recent mock draft, I had Trevor Lawrence, Zach Wilson, and now realistically, I'd probably put Mac Jones all in the top three. And then you're going to see Justin Fields and Trey Lance, in my personal opinion, go inside that top 10. That insert is either panic mode or you could see New England end up trading up. So it's crystal ball time here. What round will Kellen Mond get drafted? This has been a fun discussion in the Chat Sports Studios. It's also been a fun discussion on some other channels we have here. Shout out to the Bears channel here. But Kellen Mond, if I'm an NFL team, I am not going to take Kellen Mond. You guys might get mad at me for saying this. I'm not taking him day one. I'm not even going to take him day two. He is a day three type of prospect for me. Round five, round six, round seven. But the thing is, if you go down and you're watching us live, I'm seeing second round, third round, more second and third rounds. You can have Kellen Mond on day two because guess what? I want no part of him. 
Now, if you guys haven't already, seriously, hit that big red button that says subscribe. And if you are subscribed, I want you to go down and type me. We go live every single Monday, Wednesday, 4 p.m. Eastern Time, 1 p.m. Pacific. So if you don't hear your name, Ichigo, Wretch, Orion, Fish, maybe it's because you're not joining our live shows. Not only do we keep you guys updated on the latest NFL news and rumors, we're an interactive YouTube channel, and I love doing live videos. So make sure you join the next one, which is going to be on Monday. That's NFL Daily's next live show is going to be on Monday, 4 p.m. Eastern Time, 1 p.m. Pacific. All right, y'all, let's now get into the latest going on around Deshaun Watson. So as it stands right now as I am filming this video, 22 women have filed lawsuits against Watson. Two of Watson's accusers, they have gone public. Since, the, since they have gone public, Nike has suspended sponsorship with them, and Beats by Dre has totally ended the deal 100%. The reason why I want to be able to bring this up is because if you have been a watcher of Chat Sports, we talked about Deshaun Watson trades for all of January, all of February, all of March, and now recently, a lot of it has slowed down. But anytime you're going to talk about a player that is as talented as Watson and is a big of a name, the second highest paid player in the league, we're going to give updates on literally almost everything that happens. So here's what Nike had to say on suspending Watson's sponsorship deal. We are deeply concerned by the disturbing allegations and have suspended Deshaun Watson. We will continue to closely monitor the situation. Here's Watson's attorney, Rustin Harden, and what he had to say about everything that's going on. That's two different stories. Now, I'm suggesting, now I'm not suggesting that the 18 women had a bad experience. I don't know. Am I suggesting there's a reason they came forward? I don't know. That's a question for you to ask. But what I do know is that what I said publicly, but what was said publicly, excuse me, by this one individual and what was said privately were two completely different things. So obviously with everything that's happened now, the discussion that I still want to be able to go back to is this. Not whether he's guilty or whether he's innocent. That still remains to be seen. When we find out all the details, we'll talk about it here. What I want to bring up here is this. Will Deshaun Watson get traded this offseason? I want you to type T for trade or I want you to type S for stay. Obviously, he's an extremely talented player. The issue is this. If you're typing yes, you can trade for him, which team's going to take on that risk? Because if you're going to trade for him, you still got to give up a lot of draft capital for a player. Like, let's face it, if he's found guilty, he might not play in the NFL again. Or do you think if he stays, that let me know. So for me, Watson, he is not going to get traded right now. And the simple fact is this. You can't make a move. If you're an NFL team and you trade for Deshaun Watson right now with everything going on, that to me simply says that you don't care and you're not taking the situation seriously. The other reason that you can't do it is because Watson might not want to get traded, and I don't know if I want to give up all this draft capital. Now, if everything comes out that he's fine, that these allegations weren't true, that changes the discussion. But I'm also a believer of this. No matter what happens to the situation, his trade market is definitely going to go down just a little bit. If you guys agree with me, hey, seriously, please go ahead and give us a like on this video. So as I mentioned earlier on today's show, today's episode is brought to you by Newsbreak. And I want you all to go check out the Newsbreak app, chatsports.com slash Newsbreak. I know this is a new company. I know it's a new app that you guys haven't heard of. So guess what? I'm going to say it again chatsports.com slash newsbreak. That link is going to be available for y'all in the description and in the comments. When you go ahead and click that link, and yes, you must click that link or else us here at Chat Sports, we will not get credit, so please go ahead and do so. I want you to download the Newsbreak app, and I don't care what city you live in. If you live in Dallas, if you live in Oakland, Las Vegas, like it literally doesn't matter. Whatever the zip code is, right? We're always telling you, hey, shout out your city. We know we have people watching from all over the world. I don't care where you're living. Go ahead and download the Newsbreak app. And some of y'all are like, Mitch, why would I go ahead and do this? Well, guess what? If you're looking for more local news and weather, my dad can't get enough of the weather. It's honestly, his name in my phone is Doppler. If you want more politics, food, pop culture, if you want to know the best spots to eat in your city, guess what? We can keep you updated. You want more sports content, not just from chat sports, all of that is going to be available for you at chatsports.com slash newsbreak. So please go ahead, download the app, and if you're looking for some of the videos that we have here, just search Cowboys Report, search Raiders Report, search 49ers Report. You know our team channels by now. So go ahead, download the app, and search our team name so that way you can get more content from us and content in your city. All right, let's bring up the last story here. Justin Fields to the San Francisco 49ers. But wait a minute. Adam Schefter a few days ago said, I'd be shocked if the Niners didn't draft Mac Jones. 
you are 100% right. But Richard Sherman today was going on and he was talking on his podcast about the exact same question. Who are the 49ers going to draft at pick number three since they traded all the way up to that spot? Sherman said this. He thinks that the 49ers are going to take Justin Fields quarterback out of Ohio State. Now, obviously, he doesn't know everything, right, because he's not longer with the team there anymore. Let's keep that in mind. But Richard Sherman is a very intelligent person. Now, he might just be trying to get some clicks because he's on a podcast and he's trying to do his job. But I also believe this, that Sherman knows Kyle Shanahan pretty well, and he knows that organization well. And if I was sitting there in the booth, and if I was either Shanahan or Lynch, and I had Justin Fields and Mac Jones on the board, I'd actually go ahead and probably take Justin Fields as well. So this is what Sherman had to say on the 49ers taking Fields. I think people are missing out on the big picture. They've had this huge discussion about black quarterbacks and how they're kind of stereotyped in. They're not the hard worker. They're athletic. They're this. They're that. And that's where they're pigeonholing Justin Fields. He is literally the most efficient, if not one of the most efficient quarterbacks in the draft. He was completing, I think, 70% of his passes. He has similarities to what Jimmy does. Jimmy G is a very efficient quarterback. He is going to have a high completion percentage. He's going to get the ball out to his spots. He's going to move the ball down the field. He's really smart. He's a great command of Kyle's offense. It's really awesome to see. I still think that he's going to be the starting quarterback day one for the San Francisco 49ers. He's referring to Jimmy Garoppolo here. They have a chance at a Super Bowl this year. They have a Super Bowl-capable roster, which is obvious. He's already taken them to one. So not only does Richard Sherman say that, hey, I think that they're going to go ahead and take Justin Fields, he's also saying this, that, hey, I think Jimmy Garoppolo is going to be the starting quarterback week one for the 49ers, so you know I got to do it. I'm just I'm itching to ask you, will Jimmy G be the starting quarterback for the San Francisco 49ers week one of the NFL season. I want you to type Y for yes, or I do want you to go down in the comments section and type N for no. I don't know this. I don't know if he's going to be the starter from week in or week out. If I was the 49ers and I traded all the way up to number three, I wouldn't start him. And if I was Garoppolo, I'd see you make this move. I'd be like, all right, man, well, honestly, I kind of want the hell out of here. And I don't know if I blame him, but I would also say this you got to be healthy in order to start week one, and that's something he hasn't been able to do. But in terms of fields, I would much rather go ahead and take a player like Justin Fields, and I'd actually rather start a player like Justin Fields because, let's be real here, am I the only one that thinks Mac Jones, if he turns out to be the quarterback that Mac Jones is going to be, isn't he just going to be Jimmy Garoppolo? Like, no disrespect to Jones, no disrespect to Jimmy. They're both very good quarterbacks, but, like, I'm not trading up to three for Mac Jones. Now, maybe I'm looking back five years in this and people are flip, flipping me off, giving me the bird, like, that's a dumb take. Maybe it is. But if Schefter's saying that it's Mac Jones, if Richard Sherman's saying that it's Justin Fields, luckily, it's something we got to talk about. But I also think we're forgetting about another quarterback, Trey Lance. Trey Lance is another very good prospect, 6'4", 266 pounds, an extremely athletic quarterback. And if you're trying to get maybe away from what Jimmy Garoppolo was in terms of a safe player, Mac Jones to me is a safe style quarterback, Trey Lance is the most boomer bust. And if you're Shanahan and you're John Lynch and you're like, you know what, I got that big dick energy, why not go out and take Trey Lance at pick number three? So who would you guys take at three? Type JF for Justin Fields, type TL for Trey Lance, or I want you to type MJ for Mac Jones. If you were on the clock and you're the 49ers knowing that you traded all the way up, you gave up all that draft capital, who would you guys go ahead and draft? And if there's any 49ers fans out there, make sure you check out our 49ers channel. It's the link that y'all see below, youtube.com slash 49ers TV.